I'm an Italian surgeon working for ICRC since 1997. I would like that the people visiting this exposition think a little bit about the situation and try to understand what is behind uh, the pictures, what is behind the, the people they are taking in, in the picture and then you can see they are not smiling. They are really suffering and uh, uh, concerned about uh, themselves and uh, the, the people they are supposed to take care of. There are a lot of pictures that remind me of my previous uh, missions on the field. If Afghanistan, Iraq, uh, Republic of Co Democratic Republic of Congo, Somalia. And uh, among the pictures, I can even recognize the, the surgeon sit there. A lot of patients that told us that they arrived maybe days after uh, the needs because there was a checkpoint they didn't uh, allow them to pass, simply because the, the soldiers there didn't want them to, to pass. And then they arrive in the hospital, sometimes too late to be saved, peritonitis, cesarean section, not only weapon wounded, but also common pathologies, I would say. People are obliged in one way to stay in a, in a place where they have no future, just hope that the situation will improve, but after 20 years, how can you think that the situation will improve quickly? And they are really committed, they are serious workers. One hundred years ago, there was two armies that confronted themselves on the field. The battle could be in one day, and then that's the end. And uh, this was uh, the beginning of uh, ICRC history. Now the, the, the wars have completely changed, are unbalanced. There is always one army that is uh, much more stronger than the other army. And so there is a kind of guerrilla, etc. And civilians are more and more involved and uh, suffering for the conflicts. The conflict become more and more chronic, long, and the civilians have more and more problems to have their rights to be, to be treated. They don't have any longer access to basic, basic drugs. They don't have access to basic health services like uh, vaccination for children, for example, dressing, insulin for diabetic patients. These also are new challenges for us. And my first mission as a surgeon for ICRC was in Afghanistan, in the south of Afghanistan. And I remember children brought to the hospital in very, very serious general conditions after a mine explosion. And children that had the same age of my son that lost their life on the operational theater when I was there. I was not able to, to save them. Could be my, my child if he, if I was born in, a, in another country, in another moment. <laughs>